Guys, we have just walked into what is probably the most important car event of the year in the world at this point. We're at the Quail in Monterey Car Week where you see there's stuff like the Koenigsegg booth right behind me, Pagani booth is down there. All the new cars get released right here. This year is a little bit less than last year, but there's still some very important cars we gotta go see. So let's start walking through. So a lot of the cars here came out in the last few days. So certain ones I don't know too much about, but this is the Singer. I think it's a Singer Turbo. You can see this crazy back end on it, like flares out like crazy more than any other Singer has. The wheels are BBS wheels that look absolutely incredible. Again, they're so freaking wide for a car this small. Here's the front. The front wheels look so good. Again, you can't really tell, but man, these BBSs are incredible. Such a good looking car and they picked the right color on this. Similar to like one of my favorite colors on any car, which is Diablo SC30 color, but I love this. Thing. So welcome to one of the most important booths of every year's Quail. Here is the Koenigsegg booth. We have the new Gamera that now has changed its power plant from a three cylinder to a V8. And I think it went from like 1750 horsepower to 2300 horsepower out of a four seater hypercar absolutely wild if i'm not mistaken the headlights are a little bit different the wheels are different the color is completely changed from that gray this green looks very very good but this is pretty much the full production model of the camera you have the bigger mirrors instead of the cameras the full four seater configuration looks awesome we'll go take a look at it from the other side where the door is open so here we get to take a look at the engine somewhat and at the trunk so again we have a mid-engine v8 with 2300 horsepower but somehow we still have room in the back for four suitcases but speaking of the back it looks so good i didn't really like the car before now with this color contrast a little nicer it looks a little better especially with the gold wheels but the back's looking pretty aggressive you have the two exhaust pipes right here but man for a four-seater kind of family car you could say i don't think you can beat it but yeah, look at this two-tone interior carbon bucket seats but you get the big screen this screen actually turns with you when you turn the steering wheel the back seats have actually plenty of leg room four cup holders here four cup holders there i don't know how many drinks you're trying to carry but you can carry all of them they got the big screen right here in the middle but overall for a hypercar i don't think there's anything more comfortable than this so here's a car that we got a little more used to seeing now we're actually starting to see customer cars of this the yesco which might end up being like the fastest car in the world um but obviously kind of the uh, agero replacement 125 are going to be built this one is finished in this really nice blue obviously everything is carbon fiber on here V8, I believe it's about 15 or 16, I think 1600 horsepower on these. This one is the attack version with the wing, or you can get the absolute version with no wing, which is built more for top speed. But what a cool car. The blue with the silver wheels is a great spot. So here's the new Bugatti Chiron on Super Sport. This is one that they just released for Quail. So this just came out today. This is the first day we get to see it. It's this gold color that kind of phases into the black with carbon fiber that honestly has a bit of a gold flake to it. Obviously the Super Sport is a little bit longer, but all the gold accents on the car, the badge, everything, even the engine bay is in gold. I'm not too sure if this is the last Chiron made or last Super Sport. No, no sky view on this one, not to break up the lines. The interior fully, fully matches the spec of the exterior, but what a good looking car. But speaking of this color, let's take a look at the really important one. So if you guys watch the rest of the Car Week vlogs, we actually saw this car driving on 17 Mile about two days ago, I think. This is the Mistral, one of 99 roadster versions kind of based off the devo platform but you know this is the last potentially fully gas powered bugatti this is going to be a very very important car they're all already sold out what a cool looking car it looks completely different than the Chiron. Alex, Alex. paint the sample dog to the mistral almost the same color but yeah the mistral is such a cool open top finally they have because the new chiron since 2015 whenever it came out did not have an open top variant finally we're about to see them on the road hopefully within the next year but yeah one of 99 they're so rare they look so good and they don't just look like a chiron so you're really gonna have a special car if you buy one of these now attached to the bugatti booth somewhat is the remark right here we actually saw a glimpse of this car if you remember from the la vlogs a few days ago getting delivered but full black with some carbon in it and all the green accents on the bottom the green wheels pretty good spec we've seen a ton of these driving around but this is the first really wild out there looking spec now gunther works has a pretty cool looking booth it's got this speedster right here look at the interior i think the gunther works again i gotta start learning a bit more about them because i don't know anything about the specific models but i think they're my favorite kind of retro looking uh modern 911s like the led everything is so much more aggressive you know singers are cool and everything but i think these are more up my alley but man look at this full carbon one right here 
Like what? Imagine driving something like this on the streets. You get the old look, but the new driving experience and something more unique than anything else you're gonna see on the road. So I highly doubt anywhere in the world there's been a display with more Hennessy Venom F5s than right here. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, and a seventh one on display there. That one looks crazy, let's go take a look. So here is the Venom F5 Revolution, which is the track version with a bigger wing, a lot of carbon fiber everywhere. They look a little bit more aggressive than the regular cars, but my personal favorite has gotta be this one. So here's a full carbon body Venom F5 Revolution Roadster. Everything is carbon fiber from the body to the wing to the roof scoop. You get the glass engine cover to see the engine, but Again, I love these because the interiors on them are so freaking cool. You have these very thin carbon bucket seats, look so aggressive. You have the steering wheel that looks out of a fighter jet, but you have this roof scoop right here with an open top. You're gonna hear the craziest induction noises driving this while still having the wind in your hair. I mean, nothing like a car like this. I feel like it would be the most thrilling drive that you could possibly have in any modern car. Now, here's a lineup of way too many Porsche 959, which explains why we've been seeing them on the road non-stop this one i particularly like because obviously this is the same spec as my gt4 white car white wheels then we have this blacked out one with the black wheels looks incredible this one is so nice you saw this outside of gooding and co the other day but you know very cool loki spec green on tan you cannot hate green on tan works well on almost every single car no exception here for the 959 another gray one right here with a dark red interior so far they've all been comforts that we've seen maybe one of these is a sport i guess we've got to keep walking and looking around but such a good looking car next to that is more of a modern color it's a canardo gray looking one i highly doubt this is the factory paint i think this one looks like it got completely canopied out everything looks more modern the seats and everything are pretty much new what a good looking interior freshened up livened up as if a 959 just came out you know a few years ago now the final three are this orange one right here the white one right beside it and of course another green one again green just works so well on classic cars what a nice car let's look at something we know a lot more about so this is the gt4 rs we know everything about it obviously i have the regular gt4 we just did European delivery on the Ruby Star Neo GT4 RS. So again, ton of experience with this car, mid-engine GT3 engine, GT4 with a PDK only, 500 horsepower. But here's a car that's kind of interesting to me that I have not seen yet. This is the 718 Spider, which is pretty much this, but convertible with no wing. Now, I think that's such a great car because you pretty much get a GT3 convertible because it's the same engine, mid engines with more balance, but this car will be such a great driving experience. I've never even driven a regular 718 Spider, but I can just imagine what something like this would feel like and sound like. Here we have an MR Racing GT3, which we saw one of these at the factory in Leipzig, ripping around the track. They're crazy fast. They change the suspension, change the aero brakes, just make it a little bit more of a track car. This specific one is PDK. The yellow looks incredible. And it's got these like kind of high speed wheels, which is a big tell of how you know if it's an MR racing car. And in front of the Porsche booth, we have this massive lineup of Carrera RSs. Pretty cool display here at Quail. So currently my most successful video on YouTube is the tour of roof about a month and a half ago. And now it's nice to see the cars here. We saw some of these cars getting built while we were there that we could not show. Now we can take a closer look. So first, let's start with something that I've never seen before, never seen pictures of, is this Speedster right here. It's got the cameras, four mirrors. It's got like this split little windshield open cabin type of layout. Still the manual, still the Speedster, incredible looking interior. But you have the humps in the back that kind of match the rest of the car. What a good looking car with this bigger ducktail right here. But the car next to it right here is the car we actually saw a shell of while we were at roof. I could not show this, it was in the back room. It was literally just a carbon fiber shell when we saw it, but this is the new CTR3 Evo. I saw the shell, I saw what it looks like from the back and I already loved it. The front looks very similar, but let's take a closer look. So the front looks about the same, we got the blue wheels, but the sequential transmission in this one, mid-engine, just such a long car. One of the fastest cars you can buy today, 230 plus miles an hour. You never see these. I think there's a total of about 30 CTR3s and this is the one. Okay, so we're at the Pagani booth now. We have the original, the Zonda S. The first one, I think, with the seven liter, I believe. 
Um, but yeah, what a cool looking car. You never see these early Zondas around. Everybody's 716 them. So honestly, I like seeing a clean Zonda better than I like seeing a 760. What a good looking car. It didn't need any fancy doors, anything to make it special. It just was special. What a great car. Man, so happy every time I see one of these. So here's the successor to the Lyra and something that definitely did not disappoint. This is the Pagani Utopia. It still has the signature four exhaust pipes in the back. But the cool thing about this is it's still got a V12. Not only does it still have a V12, but you can get this as a manual, whereas the Wyra did not have it. We had about a 10 year hiatus of the manual from the new Pagani models. Now it is back and you can just get a brand new hypercar with a manual transmission and a V12 mid-engine. Full carbon body, so good. Signature Pagani, everything looks so good. They changed up the interior a little bit, so now they have these new design seats, but you know if it's a Pagani, the dash is still gonna look so cool, and it is. Look at these signature circle events. Everything's still kind of Pagani. You can very much tell it's Pagani, but it's a whole new but design. Of course, we can't forget about the Wyra. So you got the three generations, the Zonda, the Wyra, and the Utopia. Very good back to kind of original type of ideas, but probably for crazy looking and crazy features, it is the Wyra. You have the car that fully, fully, fully blows up like this. Doors pop up. And man, in my opinion, actually the painted ones are a little bit nicer, but obviously going doors, red interior. The interior on this one looks so crazy. Still the V12s, a little more subtle, a lot of turbo noises on these, which sounds incredible. Such an exciting car. But yeah, right now it's in its fully blown up form. The AMG V12. This is an original coupe non-tempesta, non-nothing, and you don't see these a lot anymore, so it's nice to see. Now, these guys working here pretty much have a job of just keeping this thing floating upright, and you can see it from the whole show. So here we have this brown carbon Roadster BC, very similar to the Toronto car from OB Prestige. Looks so good with the floating roof scoop right here. The nice thing about a lot of these Roadsters is the floating roof scoop because it just makes the car look so much more mean. There's nothing really above you, so it kind of gives it a little more character. This one's got the white accents around everything, but still the brown carbon looks so good on these. Man, nothing like Pagani design. No two Paganis are really the same. Every single one in unique is unique on its own. Such a special brand. On the side of the booth, we have a pair of the track only cars. I've never seen this specific one before. Green Carbon Wyra R. The green carbon looks so freaking good with the green, with the gold wheels, the Italian flag accents, golden red right here. Roof scoop looks incredible. These R's look so aggressive. And this is just a track only car. You cannot drive it on the road. And of course it's the Wyra R, but it all started right here with these Zonda R. We've seen these in the videos a ton before. Same thing, just scoops, aero, giant wings, all carbon fiber not road legal at all they sound insane last year if you remember the vlogs we saw these two with a white a white wire are driving on the track at laguna seca and they sounded insane there's still a few new cars that we haven't taken a look at we're gonna go back there so don't worry but first i want to go to my favorite section order some cool supercars some retro supercars just some of all-time classics you know quill is about some of the new cars coming out but it's also about just celebrating some of the best cars ever created and we're about to go walk and take a look at some of those so first up let's take a look at this lamborghini miura sv i think we saw this specific one getting unloaded outside of spanish bay the other day but the red with the gold trim and the gold wheels and the tan interior is just the classic miura sv spec potentially the best looking car of all time i would absolutely love a miura sv i think this is just a time when cars were perfect. Here we have a really cool booth with a Ferrari F50 in it with like mannequin legs sticking out of it. Bunch of really, really cool pictures on the wall like green Diablo SV, 993 Car RS, the Carbon Enzo, another one with the Carbon Enzo, F40, a Wyra, just so many cool cars, such like a Miami type vibe, very nice. So here's this very nice local to Monterey actually. Veyron 16.4, the original, but it's got this factory kind of chrome on the bottom. Then a dark blue with a light blue. Such a good spec. These 16.4s are aging so nicely. The two-tone splits are kind of a classic spec to them. And then next to that, we just took a look at the YR and the Zonda R. We have another one here. We saw this at PFS about a week ago. What a crazy aggressive car. This one specifically in the blue carbon, a little bit different than the factory car, no decals on it. 
super nice so here's an apollo ie i got a lot of comments in the other video but the other apollo i said it's an ie by accident don't know too much about these cars but ie right here and then the other one from yesterday is actually just over there let's go now, take this a look. is the apollo evo if i'm not mistaken this is the one we saw on ocean avenue the other day we saw it driving what a crazy car it's a bit of a crazier version of the ie which is parked over there so beside the apollo ie is this the bugatti Cento di it actually came out here i think two years ago or four years ago i don't remember which quail but it came out here we saw it for the first time there i have not seen one since i actually saw this specific one under cover at miller motor cars not too long ago but then here is the xr15 we saw this the other day and a few months ago 06 or 05 ford gt roma flare gt2 rs the speedster let me see what it's called i forgot the aston martin yeah the v12 speedster 177 you think one 177 is impressive well today there's five of them and i think these are five of six us 177s that exist so very crazy to see them all in one place these cars are so special obviously by the name you can tell one of 77 7.3 liter v12 so 730 horsepower all these specs i think this is more 177s than i've seen in my life just here in one row speaking of multiples there's a purple car gt right here obviously your typical silver car gt right there golf blue one right here and a yellow one right there so here we have the new v12 vantage 599 gtp there's a nice gallardo right here but where's this is just a regular clean gallardo next to that is this gallardo spider concept so this concept was actually originally a local car to toronto i think one or two of these were built but this car did stay in toronto and ontario at least for many many years now it is here it's owned by curated miami it's got this like split down the middle so kind of like a speedster type of look to it individual cabins it is an e-gear but white and black mix on the interior to kind of match the exterior spec i've always seen pictures of this car i remember seeing this car at the auto show as a kid never knew it was a local car to toronto now it's already out of toronto in the u.s but looks freaking incredible i love these very very rare one off two off lamborghinis they always always deliver here is this white on white kuntash anniversary very cool i think it's an 89 or a 19 yeah 1989 kuntash anniversary but next to the kuntash anniversary is my favorite row of cars here this is the row of the three really rare Kunt uh real rare diablos we have the red se30 right here very very nice car we saw a blue se30 yoda the other day and also a black se30 in the parking lot today. this is a one of one factory car gt2 diablo they've only built this one car for gt2 racing they've never built another one and this is it right here next to that is a one of 80 diablo gt you can very much see the similarities that started off in the gt2 and ended up in the gt which was actually a production car at least for 80 cars this is the first one with open headlights which delivered to this the hoods are the same this is just kind of a tamed down version of the gt2 next to that is the 40th anniversary of marcelago great car one of 50 if you guys might remember we stored the stradvance for the 40th anniversary for two months drove it around a little bit great color great car and then gt4 rs slr road and then this 918 right here in the liquid silver with this 991.2 gt3 very good looking car right here the nsx type r right hand drive white on white like i said these type r's kind of inspired my car for the white on white very good looking. so i heard there's two chento diachis around and i didn't see the other one there and i was wondering and now it just caught my eye right there the silver chento diachi let's go see oh! Yeah, well let's get back to the cars we got the chance of the right here in silver what a nice looking car one of ten two of them are here always crazy to see this specific one's got a lot of black contrast black accents we're talking about the wheels carbon at the bottom the wing looks so freaking good here we have the gordon murray t50 this car is literally as much of a modern day mclaren f1 as you can get built by the same person center seat v12 similar power manual transmission literally could not get any more similar so here's the nikki lauda gordon t gordon murray t50 this is kind of the track version of the t50 you know you can kind of think about it as like a f1 gtr and f1 lm very very cool type of car all carbon fiber gigantic wing more aggressive doors got the bigger roof scoop and then next that is the t33 the kind of a light version of the car left or right hand drive still a manual still a v12 
still very reminiscent of the McLaren F1. But what a cool looking car. If you just want like a daily supercar, I guess this is it. If you want to be more aggressive, you got this or the regular one, but man, nothing like a manual V12, naturally aspirated car, still being made today as kind of a reminder of the McLaren F1. So here's something that's more like a product uh, production reveal toe in the white. Kind of looks like a Pirelli edition of Ventador color scheme. The white, the black with the red accents, the red stripes. Let's take a look at the interior. We saw this before. I'm not going to lie. In my opinion, it looks a little bit like a McLaren interior. But again, we're going to go to like it like I talked about before. The hybrid 1001 horsepower V12 new flagship from lamborghini here we have the new lamborghini electric car the lanzador i believe it's called again don't kill me in the comments if i get it wrong but just came out earlier today it was leaked a little bit throughout the week but fully electric in my opinion it doesn't look that great it looks a bit like a lamborghini yours that got squashed down a little bit the back end looks a little bit better it's got some kind of hint of more lamborghini to it it's got more aero the lights obviously everything looks a lot more aggressive um but yeah in my opinion I don't know, I gotta see these on the roads and in different specs before, you know, it really grows on. Now, here is the MC12 Corsa. We saw this actually on the road yesterday. I completely missed it. Tried to get a video, just got a photo of it. But next to that is an F50. I don't think I've ever seen this F50 before. White wheels, completely stickered up. Might have been a different F50. I just got this done to it, but very cool. But man, MC12 Corsa, one to 12. Now, when I say something I didn't think I'd see at Quail is something like this. Fast and Furious S2000, Suki's car in the movie. Like, this at Quail is just pretty out of place, but very, very cool to see. Obviously, the same interior, everything from the movie. Such a cool little car. Next to that is a 458 Challenge art car. Let's take a look at that too. Oh man, so weird to see that, but really, really cool. Not bad. So here we have this LaFerrari. I think this is the last LaFerrari. It's the, uh, I don't remember exactly what it was, but I believe it's the last one. We've seen it before. It auctioned for a ton of money. You can tell by the Italian flag right here on the tip. Very, very nice. Ferrari 275, but next to that, I mean, do we really have to say anything? I mean, come on. 250 GTO, one of the most iconic cars ever made, one of the most expensive cars ever made, if not the most crazy. So here we're kind of at the Ferrari section. You know, you can see the A12, Daytona 275, 512 BBI, another daytona right there but let's go look at some of the hyper cars the more kind of modern air cars that we know a little more about of course this is the ferrari f50 the v12 open top manual car 349 cars worldwide most people's favorite one of the ferrari five. next to that is one of 399 supposedly there's also you know a few extra cars ferrari enzo in red and obviously most ferrari hyper cars are red but it's very rare when you see something like this like a yellow ferrari f50 you know you almost never see these i actually believe this is going to be a toronto car i think this car is going to make it over soon so we probably will see this car driving around a lot more in the city then next to that is a 599 gto of course the same engine as the enzo but front engine sounds incredible one of i think 599 ever made crazy car. now we're at the zenbo booth and honestly timing couldn't have been perfect because shmi is here but that was actually a complete coincidence but New Zenvo Aurora looks crazy. What a crazy aggressive car. Hopefully we see these more than the other Zenvos that have been out for, you know, they're probably 10 years at this point, but they look so aggressive. So much carbon, some forged carbon as well on the side. And the interior looks crazy, almost like a Pagani level of design, but you know, I'm excited to learn more about these, see more of them, but not a bad car. Back at the Hennessy stand, and we got all these Venom F5 just lined up. What a cool car. I hope we see more of these because they're such outrageous supercars, hypercars, whatever you want to call them, with better build quality than you'd expect from like a small American company. Car is starting to leave, and here's a Carrera GT driving off. Damn, look at this shot. We got six cars and F spot in a shot. Three seater, you would think it's a McLaren F1. Okay, what are we seeing here? Do I know anything about it? Not too much, once again. But that, is it 40th anniversary? Yeah, 40th anniversary. Mercy Lago. Mercy Lago. And what's behind that? Quiz. Diablo VT? Uh, no. You got one letter, right? V. No. V. You got the T right. Come it's on. It's a Diablo. It's a Diablo GT. GT? You knew that, you knew that. 
out this silver paint. I love it. My God, look at those rims too. Very Porsche-esque. How many of these do they make? Four? Five? Up. Six? Eighty. Yep. I know, not rare enough for you, I'm sorry. My bad. My, uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> We're all peasants here, so. I, I get you. Yeah. Not a lot of sleep this weekend. Not the best commentary. It's okay. But we'll catch you next time. With Joe. Over on the best YouTube channel on the planet. Turn around so we see that magnificent face of yours. Nah, I'm gonna keep it on you. Okay. Uh, okay fine. Look at this Jaguar, matter of fact. What a beautiful blue color, even a blue top to a red interior. What the spec? So Spider RS kind of got launched and unveiled for North America here, but this specific one has been driving around Monterey for the past week, so I don't know where the surprise is. CGTs. Golf blue. And the purple one. I do, actually. The Diablo GT2 from Curated. SC30 coming up. SC30 in red. The Concept S Gallardo. What a sick car. What a sick freaking car. Mira SV is leaving. Carrera RS, the white on white 959. Same exact spec as my GT4, even though not even close to being on the same level of car. CGT is leaving. Second one. Actually, fourth one. Never mind, I forgot about the other ones. Oh, license plate is poor. It's five. Another one. F5. Another 177. The new electric Lambo driving just came out today. Uh, here's a bit of a closer look. Let's look at the interior before they close it up. Interior looks crazy, so futuristic. It doesn't really look like any other Lambo. But uh, I wonder what these are gonna be like when they hit the roads. Interesting car. Another 177. There's two 177s. And another one with a 959 in the back. That actually looks pretty good in black. 